What is the worst way someone has broken up with you? Change their FB status to in a relationship with someone else D. He literally ran away. We got back from a gig and I went to put some ice cream in the freezer, only to hear footsteps and the door slamming. Ran out and he was legging it down the road. We'd been together for 3 years. She borrowed several hundred dollars from me a week before, knowing the whole time that she was going to do this. When she broke up with me, all she did was tell me that she didn't love me anymore. No discussion, no explanation, nothing. She then kept the breakup secret, moved to another city, mooched off of my friends, trashed their apartment, and nearly killed their dog. Not the dog. Hash KANU Reeves wants to know your location. Got a text that read. Hey just found out my cousin's boyfriend was molesting her daughter. I can't trust anyone around my son. Sorry but it's over. Wouldn't return my calls or text after that. She told me she didn't want to be married anymore while we were gasping and recovering from sex. By not telling me at all. We had been together for 3 to 4 weeks, and one day I was just coming home from work and I saw her walking with another dude. I confronted her in front of him, and the conversation went something like this. Me, hey, her name, who's this? Her, oh, hey, this is, his name, my boyfriend. Me, um haven't we been in a relationship for like a month now? Her, ugh I guess, but we clearly broke up yesterday evening. Me, asterisk visible confusion. We didn't break up that evening, we just had a minor squabble about how we should spend more time together. I was working 12s that week, we even kissed when I was leaving her place, and she told me I love you. I was so astounded I couldn't even be mad. Forgot about her in a few weeks, and moved on with my life. Sounds like she just got caught cheating, and decided to lie to you. Over text, but she texted my best friend and told him to tell me she's done with me. She was terrible before she did that though. <coughs> Nye took my then wife of 13 years to get couples massage, then a fancy dinner. Paid good money to get into a club she wanted to go to. I go get us drinks, and when I return, she whispers in my ear at a relator as just be free and so. TLDR. Got friend zoned after two kids and over a decade of marriage. TBH. I like being not married to her better so no biggie now. What the fuck did I just read? It was super weird. I did not have anything to say when she said that other than Aerethator is a really weird thing to say to her. And then I went back to the hotel and went to bed. Never did figure out why I got friend zoned. Donna it actually care why. Honestly, the reasons world not matter, if she was not willing to work things out, and she was not, so I let sleeping dogs lie, and moved on with my life. I still have 50% custody of my kids, so I honestly don't know it mind it. <coughs> the entire relationship. Semicolon. Him, backslash asterisk s-i-g-n-s onto m-s-n-m-e-s-s-e-n-g-e-r backslash asterisk. Him, hey. Me, hey. Him, will you go out with me? Me, internally screaming with joy yes. Him, awesome. I love you. Me, I'm cool. Him, say it back. Me, we just started dating. I don't love you yet. Him, it's over. 12 year old me was pretty sad. I was 17. He was my first everything. Pretty much 8 months into the relationship. Lying naked in my bed. He says, I don't love you. I never did. I just wanted to have fun. I'm almost 30, and I'm over it, but I still wonder what the fuck made him do that. Grandpa told me that there's nothing wrong with just wanting to get your dick wet, but never lie to someone to get laid because it's shitty and dangerous. TBH he was 100% right. You'd be surprised how many women will fuck a chubby nerd, even though they know you're just in it for someone to hang out and have sex with was with her for just shy of two years. Holidays, festivals, discussions of marriage the lot. Claimed she lived at home with her mum, who had terminal cancer, and as a result her mum didn't want to bring anyone new into her life as the pain of knowing she would soon leave them was too much. Therefore we spent all our time at mine, and I never met her family or mum. Received a message from a guy one night asking how I knew her, I explained. 
Turns out her mum was fine, and she had been engaged to this guy, and living with him the entire time, they were due to get married in a fortnight. Still blows my mind, that she managed to play us both so well the entire time. So technically, I guess he kind of ended it, by revealing the truth lol, I just wished him the best of luck, and cut all ties immediately, didn't give her the satisfaction of letting her know she had hurt me. I've posted this before but here it is. I never loved you, I don't love you, and I never will. You're not worth 10 seconds of my time. This was after a year of telling me I was hash one, that he loved me, and would always love me, that I was the one person he wanted to talk to every single day. He had never felt this way about anyone before, he'd take a bullet for me, his heart would beat so fast and hands would sweat, when he was with me, because he was nervous, he promised forever, etc. He swore on his mother's life, he swore to god, etc, then we had six, he gave me genital herpes and ghosted me. He was second partner I've ever had, and I used condoms with first. Anyway, when I cried and begged for an explanation, that was the response. I spent the next year literally crying every single day, multiple times a day. She cheated on me with 5 different women in 10 days. Whilst I was in hospital, having brain surgery, she dumped me 2 days after I came out of hospital, whilst at her parents house, on Christmas day by making me do the breakup for him. He slowly withdrew emotionally and started to become increasingly irritable and inconsiderate. If I brought up any of these issues he would act insulted at how I could think that of him or say slash imply maybe it was my fault for not being considerate enough of him and what he was going through. It was so slow and incremental, it took me a long time to figure out we weren't going through a rough patch or he wasn't having a hard time that I needed to support him through. With my last remaining crumb of energy and self-esteem, I did what he wanted all along, and did the breaking up for him, I broke my own heart. He screamed and insulted me, stole a bunch of my stuff, and later I found out he gave me the kind of HPV that gives you cancer, which I did get, but was treated. <laughs> high school. I'm dating a guy who is out of high school. I worked at a Dairy Queen. A girl from my school, comes through the drive through as I'm handing her her order, I see that the very distinct ring I gave my boyfriend is on her finger. I have to admit, it took me a minute, because I was confused about how she could have this ring. I finally snapped to, and asked her did Bob give you that ring? She said yes, and how did I know? Because I gave it to him. He's my boyfriend. She immediately took it off, gave it to me and left. A few minutes later my boyfriend comes flying in the door and starts yelling at me for getting him in trouble. Yeah, I know how to pick him. As he continues to yell at me, I'm just staring at him with all the anger that's in me. A friend of his, Mike, happened to be sitting in the dining room and Mike comes up the counter and whispers something to Bob. They both go outside. Bob comes back in and sheepishly says Mike said, if I didn't apologize to you, he'd beat my ass. I have to admit having Bob's friend, Mike, who I barely knew. Stand up for me was one of the best things that ever happened to me. And yes, Mike and I started dating. He was a really nice guy. <laughs> fucking some other dude for the last 3 months of our relationship. Also fucking that dude for the first 3 months of our relationship. Turns out I started out as the other man and had no idea. <laughs> Old high school girlfriend was riding another dude. Called me during by having sex with my best friend literally right in front of me. I guess I didn't really need him to tell me after that. She hit me with a car. You have a fantastic future in country music. Background. We were both in our 40s. Cheated on me. Only found out 3 years later when she posted the date of her anniversary with him and ended it with me to go out with him because he was all excited to get married to her. I wanted to wait until her kids from a prior marriage graduated from college. They were engaged a little over a year later. Funny ending. Since we were never married, but I was providing significant financial support to her, she lost all access to any of my income after she ended the relationship. My guess is he discovered after 2-3 two to three years that he had made a mistake because he refused to set a wedding date. Around the year that we were originally scheduled to get married, they broke up. <laughs> 